The federal government spending is causing food prices to soar. Here's one America's Nathaniel Manor with the latest. Despite Joe Biden claiming that Bidenomics is working, Americans are still struggling to put food on the table. And the latest report from the USDA finds Americans are spending over 11 percent of their disposable income on food. Here to unpack this is the co-owner and vice president of JKC Trucking, Mike Kucharski. Mike, thank you for coming on today. Thank you for having me on your show. All right. So even though the inflation rate has been slowly falling, uh, food prices continue to rise. Can you explain why Americans are paying more for food under the Biden administration? This is a great question because my question is, yeah, inflation has fallen. Why are groceries still so expensive? You know, I'm not an economic expert. I'm just a, a family consumer with small children and a business owner. But I feel consumer spending has changed. You know, food is, is a necessity. But now it feels like it's a luxury due to these high prices. You know, Washington Post last month said the grocery prices have jumped 25% over the last uh, past four years. It's ridiculous, outpacing overall inflation 19% during the same period. And while prices of appliances and smartphones, other goods have declined, uh, groceries got slightly more expensive last year. And, you know, when is the difficulty of putting food on the table going to lighten it at the grocery store for the American people? Wait, so why, uh, can you tell us a bit about why the Democrats uh, continue to spend, they continue to put four giant spending packages uh, when it can be argued that this is what's causing food prices to spiral out of control. Well, there's, there's, you know, I mean, how's this? I'm not, I'm not happy with the, the state of the economy right now. But, you know, what we're dealing with these, we're dealing with the aftershocks of the world shutting down. Number one, labor is up, which, which is, which is killing everybody. Energy's up, interest rates are up. A lot of people don't understand that uh, processors, food processors, especially meat guys use the interest rate, they get loans on on big bulks of, of food, they process it and sell it to the consumers. And sometimes when the interest rates are high, they they ask the question, hey, is the squeeze worth the juice? Uh, diesel's up, all these wars in the world are, are not helping, you know, actually, they're causing more issues in, in the supply chain, you know, consumers spending more on disposable income, uh, because they must, you know, the Wall Street Journal, says eating continues to cost more, even as overall inflation has eased, when will these aftershocks stop? And, and bigger question is, is that even an option? All right, and, uh, well, in terms of if that even is an option or not, how do we, how do we bring food prices down so that you know, working and middle-class Americans can afford to put food on the table? No, it's, it, that's a great question, and we need to call to action. So this would affect truckers, farmers, and supply chain. You know I mean, I think, uh, number one, making America energy, energy independent, again, would help. Uh, suspending the fuel tax or tax incentives uh, for diesel, especially because 70 percent of all goods are, are manufactured diesel and, and transported. Uh, and most importantly, you know, sitting down with lawmakers to explain the, the issues that we're having uh, to educate these issues, uh, our problems, to educate them on our problems so we can come up with solutions together so we can get the economy roaring again. All right. Well, Mike Kucharski, co-owner and vice president of JKC Trucking, it was great to talk with you today. Thank you. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.